Sunday's Canada Open, the men's double final. I'm going to try not to butcher these names. Thai former Olympic teammates, Bowden Art Isara and Manipong A. Jungjit. I think I got the A right. Why, uh, are you, why are you putting their names in quotes? That's their nicknames. Oh, okay. All right. Is that okay? Sure. All right. They glared at each other. They talked shit to each other. And then when they were changing sides, as you always do in badminton and tennis, what have you, paddle tennis, uh, the ending result occurred. So let's go to the video. So one of them's running away, and the other one just pummels the shit out of the guy. Oh, Need him in the back of the head. Yeah, and they're former Olympic teammates, these guys. Wow. Look at that little court. It looks like a court for dolls. <laughs> Why was he running away? That suggests that he did something first. Why was he running away? Yeah. Oh, they said that one of them gave the finger to the other and then they started talking shit and glaring at each other and then I think one attacked and the other one didn't want to fight. Right, well, if, if the pursuer was also the initial attacker, then, then you gotta go to jail. That's assault. That's a crime. Yeah. yeah. Like if the other guy hit him first and then ran away, then it's a slightly different story. Well, the guy who got the shit beaten out of him was Jung Jit. I was gonna, I'm gonna guess that Art lost the fight. No, it sounds like Jung Jit lost the fight. Oh, really? He got five stitches to his So ear. which one was Jung, so it was, it's not Jung Art Jit? Bowden Art Asara oh. attacked Mani, Mani Pong A Jung Jit in a epic badminton match. I think it says They're something. both disqualified. I obviously. know it doesn't speak well that I like to make fun of foreigners' names. But I or badminton. But I do. Why? <laughs> but I, they're free to make fun you of You enjoy them. that. I, they're free to make fun of Mangolins, yeah. Well, I mean, th there's not much to make fun of. They'll just call you a Jew and then they'll move along. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, so uh, one of the commenters, I told you they were both disqualified. One of the commenters said, I like the new rules. The addition of full contact fighting to badminton will bring it to the mainstream. I think Anderson Silva will do well next year in badminton's World Cup. Do you know who Anderson Silva is? I do know who Anderson Silva okay, is. Just I, I, uh, he just lost a big fight. To Chris Weidman. To Chris Weidman, Yep, yeah. UFC 162. Um, I, uh, I'm staggered always that there is like a... Or 182, There's professional or competitive international badminton. And that like somebody... You're what by it? Astounded that that exists. And that on a given night... It's a huge sport in on China. A, on a given night, there's an arena booked and there, somebody built that court. And then they, somebody has the net and they ordered it from some badminton net company that makes that. And then they all went. And Why does this like surprise you? Because it just didn't catch on here, so it can't catch on anywhere else? Because there are things you do when you're in sixth grade that you just have a sense grown-ups don't do. And I was pretty sure badminton was one of them. But it turns out, nope, it's happening all over the world. Uh, so if I challenge you to a badminton match, you wouldn't play? I, I might play. I got a. I got a. I got a nice shuttlecock, Rick. <laughs> um, Jesus. The, uh, cut. Cut. Uh, Done. Stop talking. Oh yeah, bench press competition. I'm not gonna do that. I don't think I can get three digits. <laughs>